Santa Monica Update, your source for local news in Santa Monica. Santa Monica's ninth annual Citywide Reads program begins February 14th. And this year's book is guaranteed to open your eyes to a slice of American history that few have explored. It is the story of four enslaved mistresses who meet, of all places, at a summer resort in Ohio. The book is entitled Winch, and the story it tells will stir your soul. Wench is a fictional look into the lives and relationships of four women who come with their slave masters to a resort in a free state in Ohio. It takes place around 1850. And all the rest that takes place in this novel are the imaginings of the author, but sprinkled in with a lot of research she did on the area, the place, the time. City TV joined a citywide Reads discussion group of city employees recently over lunch at the main library. Lunch consisted of traditional southern cuisine, complete with mason jars for iced tea. The lunch set the stage for a look at the master and slave culture of the Old South and how slavery, passion, and the reality of freedom shaped their lives, particularly that of the book's main characters, Drell and Lizzie. I think that as much as Drill was her master, he did in some way love her. So I feel like he also taught her how to read because he didn't want to be maybe perceived as as bad of a master as other people. I'm not even certain that given who we are and where we are today, we can even utilize, use the word or understand the concept of love as it was, as a, as it was there. I mean, when you're when we think of love and we talk about love, we're not talking about love and property. I don't think it was love. I didn't feel, and that might be just me, I didn't feel that it was love. What could she have done? There was nothing she could do. Halfway through the book, I was so distressed and having <coughs> nightmares, you know, that I, but I wanted to keep reading to see if there was some happiness gonna happen. Later in the discussion, Dolan well, Perkins Valdez, no, I, I author of Winch, joined in, in via and Skype and tells how she unexpectedly reason, turned a, a little piece of not, history into a novel. I didn't know that it would be a novel. I knew that I had discovered this resort that was really fascinating. And I, I was also a literary scholar, so I was sort of open to the idea of writing an article about it and just sort of um, getting the word out about it. but. The more I dug, the more I felt that it was igniting my imagination in terms of asking questions that I knew the documents would never answer. Perkins Valdez gives us a look at the heartbreak slave mothers faced raising their children, even the master's children. In thinking about Lizzie and her children, um, you know, I often thought about the notion of a parent during this time being unable to protect their child and the frustration that must have ensued from that. Winch is the story of courage, determination, defiance, and love. Four women who find themselves in a world where freedom is just steps away. This book is an excellent book. Although I had uh, mixed emotions, because it really hit home. But I think that it was an excellent book and I'm so glad that the committee chose it. You're invited to join the ninth annual Santa Monica Citywide Reads Public Discussion Group for Winch. It starts on February 14th and continues through March 12th. For more information, check the Santa Monica Citywide Reads website at smpl.org slash CWR or call 310-458-8600. Well, that's it for this edition of Santa Monica Update. I'm Gail Choice. For all of us at City TV, thanks for watching.